Good morning, my name is Carolina Strain. I'm the creative editor for the Victoria Advocate and I'm here with a morning update. Um, I just want to show you um, around today's edition of the Victoria Advocate. So let me switch some screens here. All right. Do -do. Hope you all are having a good morning so far. I just made a new graphic, so got to adjust my screen. Almost done. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll just see about this. I hope everyone had a good weekend. I just came back from Phoenix um, yesterday. I was at a journalism conference, and that's why I didn't do the show the rest of the week. I started last week, and all right, we should be good to go. So uh, here's a look at today's paper. We've got a centerpiece on borderline discrimination uh, by Marina Starleaf Riker, one of our uh, news reporters, and she's a government reporter. You see, Texas Republicans won a larger share of seats than they did votes in the November 2016 election, something that could mean voting district maps were drawn in their favor according to a national data analysis. Um, so that's an interesting look at votes lined up in favor of Republicans. And then a pro-con for today, or uh, this week, is state and city laws target money in question. Let's see, are they target the money question? Should employers be prohibited from asking about an applicant's current salary? Well, there's a lot of questions that you're not supposed to ask during an interview, but yeah, that would be definitely uh, one of those awkward ones. So there's a, a bill that's been filed to amend the Texas Labor Code that could make it illegal, uh, but the bill failed. So it's interesting. And former mayor, 90 years old, is honored for service. Um, Tiny Browning is a woman who pushed Port Lavaca forward and served as a served as a role model for her peers and city leaders. So a nice uh, feature on Tiny Browning. Formosa unit stopped production after power outage. Um, so I guess there's a power outage at Formosa. Today there's a high of 87 with a low of 72. And let's see what's on the here, the Skybox Timeless Quality Business Report. Nice. And let's see um, what is there to do this week. Through Wednesday, there's the barn, Barnyard uh, Roundup VBS. So that's Vacation Bible School at Christ the Victor Lutheran Church. And then we have Vacation Bible School at Ethelia Tracy Park. And let's see, today, oh, uh, there's a 6 p.m. free screening of the Royal Shakespeare Company screening, Antony and Cleopatra. Uh, that's done by Theater Victoria at the Welder Center, so that should be interesting. Hour of Code at Victoria Public Library, if you want to learn some, um, learn some code basics. Angry Birds and Plants versus Zombies also, that's at 2 p.m., it's free. Um, Moana, uh, the Goliad County Library is having a screening of Moana from 2 p.m. to uh, 3.50 p.m. today. It's free. Let's see. Deep Sea Discovery Vacation Bible School. That's all week. Um, Children's Discovery um, Museum Summer Camp. Lego Play uh, on Tuesday at 2 p.m. free at the Victoria Public Library. And let's see. Wednesday. Casey Bingo. Oh, we've got a bunch of 4th of July events coming up. On the 4th of uh, July, we've got the, the Miller Lite Blast Off. That's at the Victoria Community Center. And the Cuero July uh, 4th celebration at Cuero Municipal Park. And that's free as well. Ostwell Tivoli is having a 4th of July celebration at 10.30 a.m. It's a free event. And let's see. And the Victoria Film Society is also screening Amelie Wednesday evening outside. Um, the Junior League building of Victoria, and let's see, we're also showing Cinema Paradiso uh, on Thursday, and those screenings are at sundown, and they're also free. Uh, 
let's see, we've got a feature here, go to the next page. We've got a feature here about Cafe Displays Collaborative Artwork by Veterans. So a soldier standing beside a landscape of dark menacing uh, colors. Oh, that's, that's just like the lead. Hmm. So it looks like a neat feature there. City to look at how to handle budget shortfall, shortfall. That's by Marina Starleaf Stryker, or sorry, Riker. And so they'll have um, its first budget meeting. The city council will have its first budget meeting today. So expect to see our coverage of that. County to settle arrest lawsuit and tasing incident. Um, so the county is expected to pay Guadalupe Perez, a commercial truck driver, $100,000 to settle a lawsuit against the county and sheriff's office. Um, oh wow, so that's interesting. And obituaries over here on the side. It's actually a most read section um, of the paper. And viewpoints, Abbott's pen cut transparency like a sword. So we've got an editorial that ran in the Corpus Christi Caller Times on June 16th. It's an <laughs> interesting editorial cartoon right there. And let's see, Knowledge is Power, Let's Heal Our Community. So this is by Lindy McGee. Um, very cool. And the weather, today it's a high of 87, clouds and sun, and maybe a thunderstorm in the afternoon. Let's check to see if anyone has left any comments. Oh, Chris Calder is watching. Uh, Christopher Perez joined and Bill Buckert. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well. And let's see. Pers there's a 60% chance of pre precipitation today. I'm hoping it doesn't rain Wednesday and Thursday. Because then we'd have to move the movie inside. But it'll still be fun. Let's see. USA Today. So let's go forward. We've got a centerpiece on Pride um, with a friend of USA Today. I know it was Pride Weekend in Houston. I saw a lot of photos on my uh, Instagram, Instagram feed. Let's see. Trump and Obama square off over Senate health care bill. And see the horoscope today. Mars, this is my horoscope. <laughs> Mars in your sign gives you a strong, impulsive push. You could accomplish a lot by going in, go, by going on a spending spree or getting in a workout. So I should probably go to the gym. News from a distance might be exciting. Be sure to confirm what you are hearing. Ask appropriate questions tonight. Go over your finances first. Actually, I was just thinking about all the bills I need to catch up on. So thank you, Horoscope. And we've got some great cartoons there. And moving on to the sports section. Sports! The calm after the storm. Bay gets a cool shot of new water when with storm tides. So Tropical Storm Cindy um, has brought in some new, new water into the bay. Let's see. Astros hit three hitters? Hit, hit and runs? I don't know. Oh, long home runs. Hit three home runs. Uh, and they top Mariners, let's see. Oh, Generals trail Twins in sixth inning. The Victoria Generals got off to a rough start against Texarkana Twins on Sunday. And let's see, Generals, the score remains 16-3 with nobody out in the sixth inning. Huh? Oh yeah, and check our website for the latest. I guess that's not the final score. So we've got earlier deadlines now, so uh, be sure to check out advosports.com for a recap of Sunday's game. Actually, we can look at that right now. Let me pull it up. Nine hours ago. So on the website, it still says 16-3. Oh, no, no, never mind. This is the final one. 
So the generals actually fell to the twins. They couldn't get offensively get going offensively after the Texarkana twins led 16 to 3. Wait. Yeah. So be sure to check out Advo Sports for all your up-to-date sports news. And we're like zipping through the national sports. Havoc takes Sonoma for a first victory of season. After transplant, Merritt returns to the Worlds. Couple, couples rallies to win champions in Wisconsin. And we've got our classified section. If you're looking for uh, to sell anything or to rent a new place or, or buy some stuff, be sure to check out our classifieds. And then last but not least, the business report. So Catherine Cargo has a feature on uh, custom jewelry and watch watch repair, uh, featuring R.B. Eichhorn. And I think she, yep. Use age as guide for low cost index investing. That's a column from Masad uh, Masood Metalachi. Can't say that name right. Scammers target job hunters. That's a column out of the Better Business Bureau by Kelly Trevino. Um, let's see. All right. Oh, in good company, Mark Ward, senior and associate professor of communication at UHV, was competitively, uh, competitively selected to present his research on religious communication at the November 16th to 19th National Communication Association annual convention in Dallas. Mouthful. He will present a series of papers about unconscious structures of racism sexism and anti-Semitism in religious organizations and media. And then also in good company, Linda Bagwell recently was named the May Employee of the Month at UHV. She's a senior payroll assistant in human resources and she's been at UHV since 2001. Uh, so she got a frame certificate and a $50 gift card. Sounds pretty nice. And then we've got our date book for business report. Looks like there's a volunteer orientation at the Children's Discovery Museum Wednesday at 5.30. It's free. Uh, if you're interested, you actually only have to be 14 years old or older. Um, so if you're looking for something to do this summer or looking for something um, for your kids to do this summer, if they're just sitting around the house, volunteering could be good for that resume. On Saturday, it's the Pickers Patch Market Days on uh, 9553 Salem Road. It's at 9 a.m. It's free. I've actually never been to that. I should really check that out. And what else? I'll continue. I'll check these comments. Hi, Hector Zubieta. And let's see. Oil and gas industry remains backbone of state economy. So that's a story by Catherine Cargo also. It's a look at uh, Eagle Ford shale numbers. Hmm. All right. Oh, and we've got a great, um, an interesting feature on a shoe repairman. I guess, could you call him a cobbler? I might. Uh, and this is about a third generation shoe repairman, Manuel Moreno. Uh, he uses machines passed down from his father and grandfather to restore and repair shoes in the crossroads. So that looks like a cool feature. And we've got gushers and dusters, of course, for all of you um, that work in the oil industry or that like to keep tabs on those kind of things. Let's see. Next page. We've got economic indicators. And then another feature. Man, Catherine really um, poured a bunch of stories for this uh, week's edition. Goliad Man's colorful yard displays become a full-time job. So uh, let's see. Joshua Council created letters out of plastic and left a colorful message on his front yard in Goliad overnight to celebrate his daughter for her 15th birthday. That's really sweet. And so now it's turned into a full-time job. It's interesting, I guess. He's the owner of Yard Expressions of Victoria. So if you want your yard to, um, you know, convey a message, <laughs> it's the guy to contact. We've got his contact information here in the paper as well. All right, let's see, I think that might be, oh, we've got more national stuff here. Police cell phones may replace body cameras. Hmm, it's 
interesting. Oversight chairman to pivot from Russia. Hmm. State by state. Professor, bring your baby to class. <laughs> Looks like a fun feature. And what the first iPhone tells us about tech's future. See a Camry, Jeep now the most American vehicle. And TSA American Airlines test 3D back screening in Phoenix. I wonder if I went through that. I was just at the Phoenix airport this morning. So, a few of summer's most outrageous travel fees, Spirit. Why stalls happen and how to control them. All right. We've got uh, why you should scatter your bank accounts. Some interesting financial advice. And what to buy for the rest of Trump's first year. Stocks that won in the first quarter will likely win again in the uh, back half of year. So if you um, frequent the stock, the, the stock exchange at all. Jackie Chan and Pierce Bronson face off in The Foreigner. Looks like fun. Transformers has its worst opening yet. All right. And don't miss Vince Staples' new theory. California rapper deserves to get more attention. It's a feature in USA Today. Oh, and I won't, I'm interested in this. Stellar roles move Elle Fanning past little sister. So I think this is from, uh, yeah, Sofia Coppola's Beguiled, which would actually be really great to bring. And then we've got uh, USA Today Sports. Very interesting. Looks like some race car feature, award show. All right. Well, that looks like, like about everything. So thanks for joining me this morning um, for the morning update. Let me know um, if there's anything else that you'd like to know during this show. And I'm happy to do any birthday shout outs. Um, and I hope to see you sometime, uh, I guess, tomorrow between 7 and 8 for tomorrow's uh, morning update. And be sure to check out our afternoon news meeting. It's usually after 1.15 on weekdays and that's um, with the whole crew so thanks so much for tuning in and uh, like us on Facebook follow us on YouTube and check out our website and don't forget to pick up the print edition for the Victoria Advocate I'm Carolina String